I want to show you my face. I woke up from a nap and you can tell how swollen I am. So they keep insisting. They said, we thought you saw these videos. They said at one time, and this is not true because this would have only been probably in 1995, definitely in 1995, that the ex-boyfriend asked me, did I see a video? He never asked that. And my point is, I'm 50 years old. 1995, I was 21. Why would they wait 21 years to ask, never asking as a child, even though as a child, I told my family something happened when I was at the elementary school made sleepover when I woke up and it seemed like a dream. They said now, because that's my point, by them discussing it now, they're trying to switch my memory around of what happened then. They said now they think it was more like hypnosis and I would have been a little girl. So when I got home from the elementary school mates, a sleepover. I told my mother, I told my grandmother, I told my cousin, people know. And that's what I'm saying. There's no use switching around something that happened uh, decades ago today when everyone knew at the time. And I talked about it recently, probably in about 2020. But back to what I'm telling you now. So in 1995, no one asked me this. Why wait now to 20, the 2020s after 2016 to talk about whether I see these dreams. I don't see the dreams. And the incident that I talked about back when it happened, they even admit they think was more like hypnosis. That's my point. They keep trying to change the, the my memory of things when other people are around. So you can see how swollen I am. If this had been true, and you can tell here, my eyebrows are swollen. You can tell easier when I'm, I put my head down than when my head is up. So if this had been true and they invented this, they would have talked about it. They just said, oh, that's because it's illegal. Exactly. And something illegal is happening in my apartment. This doesn't happen outside. They can't, they can't admit it to themselves. They try outside to create what they thought they created in my apartment. If it's happening in my apartment, but it's not happening the same way outside, it's not happening outside. It's happening here. And they keep going over this as though they're going to change the truth. They'll change reality. It's not happening outside. It's happening in my apartment. What's happening outside is they are putting the sound system outside. But these, the swelling this way starts at home. Let me go over that a little bit more because they're going to try to confuse. I'm just going to pause it so I can get comfortable. They want to confuse this. And again, this is partly, I'm over to the side now, so I hear them a little better. There's a TV on in another room, so I can hear them from there. But I'm going to explain this again. How it works and why so many people become homeless because of this is it has to be done when you're sleeping, it seems. I guess because they kept saying you're, they match your circadian rhythm, but really it's the hitting you behind your head right back here. And as you're sleeping, they're heating you and they're hitting you with something so that by the time you're outside, the effects work outside, but not for long. It doesn't work well on someone who's homeless or outdoors all the time is because they can't heat you outdoors they can't hit you with something outdoors the way they can when you're 